The first international was a union of people and groups, regardless of ideologies, that banded together to further workers' rights across Europe. Its formal name was the International Working Men's Association, which had its first meeting in London on September 28, 1864, with leaders of the largest British and French trade unions of the era. It had a general council of 32 members, of which Karl Marx was indeed a member, and soon was assumed its leadership. Soon the International took on the aspects of a centralized party, based mainly on the individual members who organized local groups and national federations, although some major groups such as trade unions and other associations were connected directly to the International. Its supreme body was the Congress, which met in different cities every year, London, Basel, Geneva, La Zouane, uh, Brussels, The Hague, and many others. The Congress would decide upon principles and policies the first International would follow and implement. The General Council, on the other hand, was situated in London, which served as its executive committee, appointing secretaries for the national federations, which would in turn organize support for various strikes in their corresponding nation, and in general, advance the goals of the International. In the early months of the International, a subcommittee to, of, the general count, of the General Council appointed all writing duties to Karl Marx to write the fundamental documents of this new organization, including the Manifesto of the Communist Party, better known as the Communist Manifesto. Throughout its existence, the International had to balance within itself the opposing schools of socialist thought that its members followed. Marxism, Protonism, a belief in only performing capitalism, Blanquism, a belief that in a revolutionary idea that the revolution should only be carried out by a small number of conspirators in a manner such, a, such as a coup d'etat, and of course, Mikhail Bakunin's anarchism. These groups clashed in many congresses, Blanquists against the Mutualist Proudhonists, Marxists against the Mutualist Proudhonists, Bakuninists against the Mutualist Proudhonists, pretty much everyone against the Mutualist Proudhonists, Marxists against the Bakuninists. These divides came to a head at the Hague Congress, where the Marxists and the Bakuninists formally split. This led to the creation of two separate first internationals, one dominated by the Marxists, the other dominated by the Bakuninists. The pro-Marxist international moves its general council from London to New York City in order to avoid Bakuninist interference. That international finally ceased operations during the Philadelphia Congress of 1876. The pro-Bakuninist international, however, continued to hold congresses until 1877, when the Social Democrats, which followed the Bakuninists, broke away due to a failed proposal at the Ghent Socialist World Congress to f restore the unity of the First International, meaning that the Social Democrats wanted the Marxists back into the now anarchist-dominated international. The anarchists alone could not keep the international alive, and in 1881, during the London Anarchist Congress, the international ceased to be an organized movement.